Hi friends and welcome to this week's edition of Ask Amy. I've been getting questions recently asking me how do I store my various kinds of hand lettering pens and markers. The first thing to ask yourself when you're going to store a pen is does it have one tip or two? There are many dual tipped pens that we use, the Tombow ABT Pro, the Tombow Dual Brush Pen, the Tombow Mono Twin, and a great rule of thumb is that any dual tipped marker should always be stored horizontally. The reason for this is that if you think about it, over time, whichever way you place a pen, gravity is going to take that ink downward. So for example, if I store my ABT Pro pen vertically with the brush tip on the top, all of the ink is kind of going to settle and flow toward the chisel tip. So it will be nice and juicy and ready to use, but my brush tip is going to dry out. The same thing would happen if I put it the other way around. The brush tip would be fine, but when I wanted to use the chisel tip, it would run out of ink. So we want to store these markers in a horizontal way. You can look for various types of organizers. Mine is the Tool Cubby from Create Room, the folks that make Dreambox. You can look for any type of horizontal storage, including leaving the Tombow markers in their original packaging. For other markers, you can put them so that the tip is facing down and the ink flows down to that. However, you can also never go wrong by storing those markers horizontally as well. All of my markers, pens, and paint pens for the most part are either stored in these little bins here, which allows me to store them horizontally, or in the tool cubby that I mentioned earlier. I hope this helps you to know how to best store your markers to prolong their life. The better care that you take of your markers, the longer you'll be able to create with them, and the more you'll love the way that your projects turn out. Happy creating, and don't forget, if you have a question, you can email it to me at amylattacreations at gmail.com, you can leave it in the Amy Latta and Friends Facebook group, or you can leave it on any of my social media accounts at Amy Latta Creations so that I can answer it in an upcoming episode. Make sure you don't forget to subscribe below so that you don't miss any upcoming videos. See you then.